What's up guys, Fanboy Prime here, and today I want to take a look at Green Lantern number one. I believe this is volume seven of Green Lantern. This is the newest Green Lantern number one. This is part of the Dawn of DC initiative. And with that said, this issue of Green Lantern does a fantastic job of being a jumping on point. You kind of have a whole new beginning for Green Lantern, but also kind of a taking him back to his roots. The little premise of this volume of Green Lantern is a time of radical change in the galaxy. The Guardians of Oa have disappeared, and in their absence, the United Planets have seized control of the Green Lantern Corps. In a shocking decree, the United Planets have declared Sector 2814 an unsafe liability to the universe, and have reassigned the Earth Lanterns to other sectors. The true motivation behind this hostility remains a mystery. Furious at this turn of events, one Lantern has quit in protest, returning to Earth to start his life anew. And just from that alone, we see Hal Jordan back on Earth as the Earth Green Lantern. Uh, but it doesn't begin that because as he quit the core, he is without his power ring. So throughout the course of this issue, we are going to uh, see how he gets his ring back. The issue begins perfectly, you know, with Hal Jordan returning to Earth. Uh, the first panel of the issue is pitch black. And we read the words of three workers who have trapped hundreds of feet underground. One is already worried. He's all giving out hope. Uh, and then another one is like, well, you know, we'll get to find a way out of here. We're going to get a way out of here. Someone's going to find us where there's a will. There's a way uh, cue to a soft light forming. And then eventually, boom, a bright green light. One of the workers says he's back. Cut to a double splash page of. Hal Jordan and all his Green Lantern glory returning to Earth. And so throughout the course of this issue, we will see how, I guess, Coast City responds to having Green Lantern back. I know there's a scene in a bar where the bartender is giving out uh, a free round of drinks uh, because how a Green Lantern has returned to Earth. Uh, in that bar scene, we do see a shadowy figure sitting in a booth. I'm assuming it's Sinestro, but we'll find out. Uh, on this cover here, you can kind of see uh, the yellow eyes of Sinestro, the very background of it. So that's what I'm assuming, but we'll find out. We see Hal try to reestablish and rekindle, perhaps, his relationship with Carol Ferris. He gets a job there, and of course, in typical Hal Jordan fashion, he is going to crash a plane <laughs> when he shouldn't, uh, because he's going to do things his way, not the way he should. And of course, there's going to be tension there. Uh, I do believe that Carol mentions that she has a boyfriend, uh, the last page of this cuts to, you know, when it says next issue, continuing next issue, that uh, Hal meets Carol's fiance. So we'll continue to see the, dy the dynamic there. It does have a backup tale inv involving Jon Stewart. And in a similar situation, Jon Stewart has returned to Earth, giving up the life of the Green Lanterns. So fantastic to see that. Uh, the issue of that, or that mini, that backup tale does end with a little segment of the story. And it does say it is another universe, another time, uh, dealing with Guy Gardner battling this force. And I am not familiar with it, uh, but it is says, um, I guess it's the Revenant Queen has returned. So I'm not too sure on that. I'm going to have to do some investigating on that. Um, I'm not familiar with it. So it should be fun. It should be fun. And that's the fun thing about comics, especially in the day and age in which we live. If we come across something we don't know, we do have the internet available to us. We do have our fellow members of the community to ask questions to. And so the beauty of comics, the beauty of community, the beauty of this YouTube uh, comic community is fantastic. But uh, I do give Green Lantern number one, two thumbs up. Solid issue. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this mini review. Hope I didn't stumble over my words too much. Well, thank you guys. And I will see you in the live chats and in the comment section. Have a good one.